everyone, and welcome back to all new expansion pack premiere. We have about a minute and 24 seconds. I am flipping out. This is for the Love Struck expansion pack. Um, it's all about the lovers today, everybody. So, in about a minute and 12 seconds. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control, and I think I like it. All right, so let's get ready to go. Per usual, there will be no um, audio because I um, am not wanting to get copyright strikes. So let's switch over into sultry mode. Ooh. Oh, I'm so excited. Are you guys excited? I am just, I am like really peaking here on my audio. I'm sorry if it's so loud. Maybe it's just me because I'm really excited. Oh my god, 22 seconds. Here we go. Oh my god, the pawn's a heart. Are you guys excited? Phone, I'm very excited. Are you up? That's what we're waiting for. Four, three, two, one. And see. Crude humor. Ooh, it's a city. There is so much going on. She said, Love Struck Expansion Pack. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, there's some stuff in the background. Oh, she's got everybody on the log. Hey, y'all. Cupid's Corner. Oh my god, look at that. You guys, look at the new stuff, too. Oh, that door's new. That door's new. A penthouse again. Yes, the leak was correct. Ooh, it looks like a new makeout spot, the, the utility closet. Look at all this stuff, you guys. I am like losing my shit. Oh my. Oh. Oh, oh. a dress up chest. That's so naughty. The Sims. <laughs> this is in. Oh, the heart bed is back. Are we cuddling in bed now? Are we cuddling in bed now? You guys, I'm so sorry. Her hair is cute. His shirt is to die. Ooh! The portable woohoo blanket. Sexy time anytime. Is it strip poker? New makeout. That's a new kiss. That is a new kiss, I'm pretty sure. She died of a broken heart. And now Don Lothario is trying to hit. make your move. July 25th. Look at all this stuff. The heartbreak bed. Oh my goodness. Purchase by September 5th to get the heartbreak bonus content. Well, hails. Bales, y'all. Ugh. Ugh. So let's go back. Pause, 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 pause. Let's go back. Back to the beginning. Begin the begin, okay? So we're gonna go back. We're back. We're so back. Okay, so. Oh, no, 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 you. No, you. No. Go back. So we got us a new world that looks like it's a little bit of a mixture of this, that, and the other, if we're being real honest. Loving this. This looks like a little flower shop. Probably a rabbit hole. Fine. I like to buy flowers for my biatches. Don Lothario's a hoe. We got us a new fountain. Oh, girl, what else we see in the background? Sorry, you guys, I'm on one today. I am working right now, but I took my lunch to do this, so I'm, like, really excited to be here. Um, let's see, a fountain. Yeah, these look like some new clothes. Oh, I love new clothes. Oh, look at that. So what's going on here? This world looks to die for already. I'm being honest with you. If this is it... I hope it has a smaller map and the interactive lots are in the center and the explorable areas are on the outside so it's more lively, but that's just my sense of two. This shirt is gorgeous. The necklace, the hair. Homeboy is on it. There's something going on in the background. Looks like he's reading a book maybe about love. We got some more background. Look at all the cars around. I love it. I love the set dressing. Here's the wall. I think you can write your name on that wall. Love Struck Expansion Pack. The Sims 4 Love Struck Expansion Pack, where you can woohoo anyone, anywhere, anytime, with the help of Cupid's Corner and the portable Sexy Time Love Woohoo Blanket. Ooh, 
so is this dude a bouncer? Okay, we have a rounded bar that I believe is new. We have one of those in the Journey to Butt Butthole pack. Um, looks like this is probably the new lot type that was leaked. The singles hang out. Everybody be up on everybody's shit tonight. Did you see that? Oh, did you see that thing behind them? It looks like right here. Oh, it's behind my head. No, you can see it. So like right there, that looks like it's like a frosty mocha fountain thingy. Okay. Oh, he's like, you leave me, bitch. I'm going to go right back to Cupid's Corner and get me a ho. So he did. Okay, so let's take a look at this, you guys. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So it looks like you can take a selfie. You can choose your age. Oh, what you're looking for. Your sexual orientation. This is no. They don't even smell like roaches or nothing up in here. So your matches. Okay. You guys. This is going to fit so well into my growing up summer storyline because Adeline, Addie, is looking for love after she gives birth to these babies. Okay, so she's getting ready to go out for a date. Oh, oh, I want to go back a little bit. So it looks like this mirror's new. Um, I keep seeing these pictures, which they're probably for the trailer, but I wish we could get more poses for pictures. This door is new. I love this neighborhood. I want to live right here. Look at that view. Ugh, I love city with nature. City with nature! Okay, so here... Oh, look, that looks buildable over there. See that? I like this penthouse. I hope they put it on the, the glory. See, and there's a rooftop there, but it may just be for show. It looks like there's a lot of rooftop stuff around, but this city, oh, I wanted another city like San Mishino that was highly populated or heavily populated and dense, but I didn't want it up in the sky. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. So these arches look to be new. This utility closet looks to be like a new woohoo spot. See the shelf back there? I don't recognize that from anything, so I'm thinking this is a unit, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's a door or something. Okay, oh my gosh, you guys. So look at this wallpaper, this... Is that a single tile mini bar? That's why we got that one in the free update. Okay, okay, okay. She's taking a selfie. We got Don Lothari whore over here. Oh, look at these candlesticks and these lights and these chairs and this table. It's very like glamorous, like modern, I don't even know what to call it. And I like this painting right here, very lady, lady. Look at this couch and this table. Guys. Oh, that plant is to die for. Oh, feed me a cherry, my love. Or strawberry. Naughty. That dress is pretty. Oh, look at this. This wallpaper. I love this big, bold pattern. And this chair, the heart bed, the footy stool. Ooh. Is that a base game door? I don't know. I don't recognize that door. I don't recognize that door. I love it. Love it. How am I supposed to go to work after this? This right here. First of all, the body wave. This dress up naughty chest right here is exactly what The Sims 4 needed. Needed. Just what The Sims 4 needed. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh, snap. She looks like she's a magic mic. Or when ladies strut. What is that? A fruit? A naughty... Oh my goodness, an eggplant. Oh, these are hilarious, you guys. Uh, I am... I am living in the moment right now. This is amazing. I am so excited for this. This looks so good. Like, kissing under the stars? Oh! the naughty portable hoo-hoo blanket you guy uh, I think okay so hear me out I want to say this is like truth or dare the naughty edition maybe maybe that's what I'm gonna go with that's what I'm going with it's the truth or dare naughty edition so she got her heart broken look at this all the exes names marked out that's cuter and shit new tattoo new top that's all new that's cute oh this new bar back's cute i like that i love a good bar back <laughs> that door though hold on hold on 
Look at that door, you all. That's sexy. That's like Art Deco chic, kind of. Death by a broken heart. Dun Lothario's like, you're next, baby boy. Holla. Yeah, see the new bar back? I love a good bar back. Ah! Love in the library. That wallpaper looks new. That light looks new. Oh. My. God. I love this. That little thing looks new back there in the curtain, the board. These are the um, Broken Heart Basic Breakup Double Bed, the Hubert pl pl Heart Plushie, and the Crimea River. Crimea River. Um, eyeliner. Um, order by September 5th. You have plenty of time. It's not a big deal. I don't know why everybody gets a little bit out of shape about these. You'll get them, somebody. It's fine. Um, available July 25th. That's a couple days for my birthday, July 28th. So, you guys, can we talk about some of the gorgeousness that is this trailer? I don't want this to be ridiculously long, but I want to go back. Where was the, um, was it here? Let's see. I want to look at this UI again real quick for Cupid's Corner. Uh, see, I love this. This looks so much better than what we have in high school years, and that is so high school or oriented, orientated, orient, orientated. Yes, it just doesn't make sense for it to be like an adult thing. So I'm loving this. I love everything about this. But anyway, um, I really am digging this. So it's got like your matches, your bio. There's probably more. Ooh, there's probably more things down below that you can look at. I would assume. But, um, and then the saves, that's cute. Sexual orientation, romantically attracted to, interested in woohoo with. I love that. I love everything about that. Okay, you guys, so let's head on over and read the blog post. I almost forgot about it. Woohoo! Fall in love with the Sims 4 Love Struck Expansion Pack. Plan on exciting dates that will leave your Sims swooning. It's time to open up your heart to romance in the beautiful world of Kiad Imarado. Maybe. Go on soon worthy dates in, neighbor in the neighborhood. Your Sims will be able to hunt for the best spot to try the romantic blanket in the city's gardens, dance until morning at the favorite night at their favorite nightclub, or even experience the beautiful simplicity of sitting together to watch the stars. Okay, so the Sims 4 expansion pack. Sims can create their dating profile on Cupid's Corner dating app and match with other Sims. Players will determine how to navigate the dating scene to find out who find out what other Sims turn on and turn offs are and cater to them. Learn how to become a romance consultant and so much more. Wevenado, I don't know. I can't yeah. So so mi amor, welcome to en Yado en mi enamorada. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> A gorgeous city in love with the perfect place for all your romantic encounters. Love struck feelings overflow into the three lush neighborhoods that exude charms of three neighborhoods. In a world designed to dial up the heat, Sims can meet and flirt with other Sims in the Vista Hermosa, a central neighborhood with greenery and walking areas. Plaza Maropo Mar Mar Maroposa. Try that again. Plaza Maroposa. Mira Maraposa, a residential suburb neighborhood. Okay, so a suburb in Nuevo Corazon, Nuevo Corazon, an upscale neighborhood with a small high-rise area, with a, with penthouse suite. Okay, so there's one penthouse in this neighborhood, so that's okay though. Um, and upscale's venues, your sins can take in the picturesque wall of love and still kisses strolling through the charming park, with the little botanical garden-style cafe slash bar. So that's why this, we got those kits, was because of this pack here. Love it. Um, anyway, and exploring open street areas surrounded by flora and fauna. You might even have your sims renting a room at the Besto Rapido. Ooh, quickie motel for a quickie dressed. Anyway, um, to get some much needed sleep or just take their steamy date for a little thrist. Trist, sorry I said that wrong. If your Sims decide to take their romance back home, they will return to their penthouse-style apartment connected by streets filled with romantic stops. From your penthouse-style apartment. So I wonder if it... That's kind of contradictory, but we'll see. Um, from parks where blankets can be set for picnics to food stalls. Perfect for late-night snacks. Sims will declare their love at any number of places in... Yado and Morado, 
I still am not saying that right. I know I'm not. Each with its own unique city and or beauty and unique charm and beauty, Lord. So you can go on different kind of dates, like sweaty gym workouts, which that means, I think that means I've read somewhere that you're going to be able to um, go to different places on a date now instead of being stuck in one location. Struggling to find a partner, open Cupid's Corner app to find the perfect match with Cupid's Corner app. Notice the features are always capitalized. Sims will find a variety of matches that will make their heart flutter. With the new dating planning system, oh here, here we go, players will choose where to go and what to do, crafting a unique date that will leave your Sims wanting more. When using Cupid's Corner, Sims can snap a selfie and create a profile. That is great, I hope we can choose like the poses. By setting preferences to find Sims who are romantically available, potential partners will show up in the matches tab, and your Sim can hit the heart button to add to their favorites or saves. Once saved, Sims can add their love interest to their contacts and start up a conversation. Girl, it just gives you bitches numbers. Whether meeting for the first time or starting up a, or setting up a sweet anniversary date, matching and dating in all its forms is now supported with custom ask to create a date feature that will make the ideal date scenarios. These features will allow players to customize their date by picking a date type, picking a venue, and optionally inviting more sims by selecting the activities. Okay. Once on a date, sims can connect through their playing games, chatting on a picnic table, or I'm sorry, picnic blanket, sharing food, cuddling in heart-shaped beds, or by stargazing up at the night sky. To add a little spice to the mix, new romantic interactions include a new kiss, a sultry dance, and three new woohoo spots. Romantic dynamics will develop between sims as a reflection of the types of romantic relationships they have together. There are three types of dynamics. Wholesome, steamy, strained, and unpredictable. Wholesome refers to two sims who genuinely love each other and show it through their actions, both friendly and romantic. Steamy dynamics refers to sims relationships being focused on physical intimacy. Strange, strange, maybe. Strained dynamics refers to two sims that will still romantically entwine, but are genuinely unhappy with each other and treat each other unkindly. Ooh, that could be fun. Um, Unpredictable dynamic refers to sims that go back and forth between fights and fighters and lovers and may fight one second but kiss and make up the next. Sims will develop and grow romance skill as a continuous ooh, a new romance skill pool to socialize, unlocking new interactions like a steamy makeout session or a net kiss. They'll even learn how to emotionally connect with a partner or scan the room for potential sims open to romance. So it's to be like Ho powers activate scanning for hoes. Ho found. Yeah, love it. Love everything about it. Ooh, look at this hottie. I'd swoon. I'd, I'd get on that bear skin rug. It's all about attraction and compatibility. Sims attraction represents how romantically attracted or mismatched two sims are. Sims will have turn on and turn offs personally and behavior elements that will either rise or low, raise or lower a sim's attraction to another sim that will define what they are or not are or are not attracted to this includes other sims traits clothing hairstyles and even certain interactions some sims may be turned on by a sweet gift some sims may be turned off by gardening or fishing that's hilarious this is so funny turn off turn ons turn offs and romantic satisfaction will shape how your sims build and maintain their relationships over time romantic satisfaction bridges between the new attraction system and the existing romantic relationships level in the base game this represents the individual's feelings about how well well or poor, their overall romance is going with another sim. Positive romantic interactions improve it and vice versa. Interactions between sims give the player tools to understand which turns each sim on and off. This is important to the intelligent decision making that will keep both sims happy in their romantic relationship. For our resident romantic enthusiasts, for any sim with romantic aspirations, <clears throat> romance is a way of life. With Paragon, Partner, and Romantic Explorer aspirations, sims will have many paths to discover love and connection. Romance isn't just with two new traits. Sims will have more ways to define who they are and how they love. Romantically reserved Sims will need just a bit of more time to get to know their partners. It may take them longer to find romantic connections, but the foundations will be worth it. For Sims that are love bugs, romance is everything. They long for love and they dive in head first. Me. 
Um, love may come quickly, leading to much faster romantic relationships, and as a result, they may be met with unrequited love. Ooh, one-sided, yes. Oh, they will be met with unrequited love should the romantic advances fail. Love isn't just butterflies and rainbows. They've added two new fears, the fear of intimacy and the fear of being alone. Ooh, the fear of being alone. Anyway, um, Sims will have new questions to ask and interactions to help assuage. I don't know that word. Sorry. It, these fears with their partners. I don't know. There is even an option to attend counseling. I, love I wish it was an interactive career, though. And yes, your sins can become romance counselors and make a career out of it. Literally loving love. So anyway, as they progress to career, they'll learn new ways to promote love. For a job well done, they may find themselves with heart-shaped rewards in their inventories. Free for all players is a new romantic boundary system that will allow, your allow you to customize your Sims experience with boundaries and jealousy. You can now define how your Sims approach romantic relationships in terms of physical and emotional romantic exclusivity. This allows Sims to, deter, to date multiple Sims without the impact to other relationships. Alright guys, well that's it for this reaction trailer. Um, I'm excited as hell. This looks like fun. This looks like, oh look, there's a new thing, Love Bug. I didn't even notice that till now. Um, I bet those Sims love love. But anyway, I'm really excited for this. Um, I know I've been absent for a minute and I apologize. I've had a lot going on, blah 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 blah. You don't care, you don't hear it. Well, I'm sure you care, but you don't want to hear it. Um, but anyway... I think this is what the game needed. I think it needed a little fun and a little frisky, and this world looks amazing, and these assets look amazing. So I'm hoping the gameplay backs it up, but I think it will. I really do think it will. Let me know what you guys think. I am so excited for this. I can't wait to get into it. I hope I get early, early access. Who knows? But anyway, let me know what you think down below. Are you excited? Um, make sure to go watch this without me, too, so you can hear the music. The music's always really good in these trailers. They do a great job on this. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you haven't. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ding that bell so you get notifications when I post new videos. And anyway, let's catch the love bug together, you guys. I can't wait. But I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Mean it. Bye.